This is a quick video on how I separated a uh, headlamp uh, to paint the interior black. Uh, it's for a 2001-2005 Mazda Miata. Uh, it's already been cracked open, uh, but I wanted to give people a little bit of uh, additional information. There have been a lot of posts about how to separate them, um, but uh, a lot of people like to see stuff on video, so hope it will help. It needs to be under 10 minutes, so let's get going. Uh, you'll notice I already opened it up, but what I want to show you is prior to sticking it in the oven, you want to take out as many of the uh, pieces that you can. Uh, one of the pieces I took off was a, a clear cap that was on the edge here. Uh, I took off the uh, uh, green adjuster right here. Um, there are also two screws that are applied on here and on this side right here. And then there are, of course, the bulbs themselves, which would be taken out when you take out the lamp. And there are rubber grommets right along here that you just pull off. And they're also attached with a small uh, plastic trim ring that goes here. And they're um, applied with three small screws. The importance to note here is even though these uh, holes look like they're evenly spaced, they are spaced in such a way that the ring will only go on in a certain way. So ju just to let you know, when you're screwing it on, make sure you turn it a couple times till the holes match up with these screws. Uh, the other thing to note is the screws on this side and this side look very similar, um, but I actually noticed that uh, the screws are slightly different. So make sure you, you, you note and save those little screws so you know that um, one, one set goes here and one set goes in here because they are slightly different. Um, basically after after you have that um, this little piece right here I just kept on because it was a little too difficult to pull off um, and I stuck it in the oven for about uh, 20 minutes some people have said 10 anywhere to 30 uh, 20 minutes was pretty good at 225 um, and what you'll notice is you start to pull it out if it's a little bit too hard just stick it back in the oven for 10 more minutes uh, won't make that much of a, of, a, of a difference. It'll just get a little gooier and it'll make it easier for, to, for you to pull. It's a lot like uh, taffy in the case where when it's cold you start pulling it's hard but as, as it starts stretching it gets a lot easier. Um, probably the uh, most difficult mo for mo part for most people is when they first look at it. There are these uh, little tabs here, these black ones. One, two, and three. And cold, they're pretty hard and, and you don't really want to take a take a screwdriver and really pop these off. You don't want to get those stress marks or, or any of that other stuff, but uh, as soon as you get it into the oven for about 20 minutes, these things get really soft and they're really, really easy to lift up. Um, a small little screwdriver will help you get leverage if you need to. Um, when I pulled it out, this thing was pretty warm, not super hot, um, but it's easy enough where I was able to even use some thick rubber household gloves. I, I did use some oven mitts just to put it down somewhere where I could work, but once it started cooling off a little bit, these were still soft. I just took some uh, gloves and thick gloves and was able to lift these and took a little screwdriver and you want to start at this edge right here because this one is the easiest. Um, and then as you start separating, uh, work your way down and you'll get these. Once you get these, these three tabs, the rest of it is cake. Uh, so let's uh, imagine now that you've already separated out your headlamp. Okay. And uh, the biggest thing that I want to mention uh, before we go any further is um, once you decide to paint your headlamps, make sure that you uh, put this part away and this little part away and put it in a place where there will be no paint uh, that will touch them. And also make sure that you wash your hands after you paint. The reason why... Um, I used a paint that included primer in it and the chemical um, got a little bit on my hands and basically what happened is no matter what I touched, including these reflectors which have a little bit of this chrome paint on the inside and outside, it started eating away um, at the reflector and that's absolutely what you don't want. Um, you can tell in here, on this was on a tester headlamp so this one is the one I used, but it started eating away because I started touching at it. So um, make sure you, you take care of that. Um, otherwise, this interior piece right here is uh, um, is held in really only by one single point. At the edge, there's a Phillips head screwdriver. On the second edge right here, there's a little uh, nub. Uh, you probably won't see it too well, but you will when you actually take it out. Um, and you can just sort of stretch the edge of the or, um, 
uh, of the plastic or, or whatever and, and just snap it out. Uh, at the bottom here, just for when you put it in, there's a little guide tab. It's not an arrow snap tab, so it'll just pull out. Um, some of the sticky, the sticky stuff may, may stick on this interior housing. Um, so you just want to pull, but basically besides the screw and this little uh, nub and peg here, that's pretty much, that's all that's holding it in. Um, before you paint, you obviously want to take out, uh, this little uh, clear lens right here. And it's really based on, besides the actual interior housing itself, it's based on two pieces, a clear piece, which is attached to the black. Um, and that's the lens and then the reflector unit. Um, if you can get out the whole entire clear and reflector unit out at once, uh, good for you and that, that's fine. I found that I had to remove the reflector piece first and then get to the clear piece. The reason is because I was using a very small screwdriver to lift the tabs on the outside here. Uh, lift it, pulled it a little out, worked my way around slowly and was able to pop it out. Um, the reason why I couldn't get both is I found it was easiest. You'll notice that the this tab right here, um, the, the snap arrows are on the outside. Um, but when you're connecting the clear to the this housing, the snap arrow is on the inside. So I needed a screwdriver to get in and push from the outside to, to pull it out. But you could probably try and lift it from there. Um, whatever works for you. Um, now, other than that, you'll, you'll have this uh, interior piece. Uh, you just want to um, scrape it down. I've seen some people say that they've used high temp uh, paint because they feel that the, the, the bulb will get too hot. Other people have just said, no, you can just use primer, uh, you know, sand it down, primer, use plastic primer, then paint it. Other people have used um, a paint that includes primer in it. I used paint that used that included primer in it. Uh, the only thing I'd mention is you want to really, really get that shaken really well because um, those two chemicals, uh, um, if, if you don't, it'll separate and splotch a little bit. I did have a little splotch, splotchiness, so just wait until it dried, um, sand it back down and had to repaint it, um, and, and that was pretty much it. Uh, after you let it dry, you're basically putting this back in. Make sure that you uh, put the tab back in. Make sure you screw this back in. Make sure you place the reflector in after everything's dry. Uh, two special things to, to note here is when you take it off, on top and bottom of the projector lamp, there's this little tab right here that sort of guides it in, and this tab right here. And those will fit uh, right inside this little housing right here. Sorry, it's, it's not very bright, but there's one right here and one down here. Um, so uh, once you start getting it heated up, it'll fit right in. Uh, best thing to do again is heat it back up to the same temperature, wait a little bit, and what you want to do is lightly assemble it just to make sure you get everything ready so when you want to press it in, sorry, once you press it in, it'll be ready just to slide right in. So get it nice and prepped, put it on the oven, everything will get tacky once you pull it back out, and what I did was I added a little bit of uh, black high temp RTV silicone and just put a very small thin bead all the way along the seam of this uh, Just to make sure that it would it would be sealed back up and then I started to um, Push it back together. You don't need to use a lot of RTV because basically what happens if you put a big glob It's gonna start pushing together and it's just gonna squeeze out and make a mess anyway, so just make a little thin uh, uh, Thin seal around it and when it closes it'll 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 start mushing it up where it needs to anyway. Um, after that you let it cool and you basically put all the parts back together um, and that is pretty much it. If you're storing these for a while I would just recommend that you put a little bit of masking tape on the hole so dust doesn't get in. Oh and uh, one last thing, but sorry, before you put this back together I found that a microfiber terry cloth is the best thing to wipe the inside of glass in the housing and the projector lamp. You don't want fingerprints or dust inside it. Other than that, that is pretty much it. Uh, hope this helps you.